Um, hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to download the financial data from, um, from RStudio. Basically what we are uh, using is the R package called Quant Mode. So the first thing is to load the, to load the um, R package Quant Mode. And then um, the very basic function is called um, get symbols. So we pass the, the stock symbol. For example, for Google, it's um, it's um, G O G, and then um, we pass the front date or the start date and the, the end date. So what we get is um, is an object called GOOG which has the same name as the symbol that we have. Uh, as we can see um, in this environment here, GOG is an XTS object, which is a time series object. So let's take a look. If we type GOOG, as we can see, the data we have is um, from the start date. Um, that we set here and the end date um, we set here so basically the data contains the open price open price the highest price during that day and um, the lowest price close price and the volume so the last one is the adjusted close price so actually we can use this data to draw the uh, doing analysis or to draw the um, candlesticks uh, graph um, so another thing, another thing I want to mention is how to loop through all the um, stock symbols um, that is traded in the market. So uh, basically what we need is um, the function called stock symbols in the TTR um, package. So let's load it. And then um, we apply the stock symbols function. And then the result will give us all the public traded companies, um, the name of those companies. Okay, let's take a look at uh, this uh, variable called all uh, sims. So as you can see, um, it will give us the whole list of the public traded um, companies um, in the market. So let's take use the head function called all uh, So as as we can see the first column is the symbols for the stock. So actually what we need is just this. For example if we get um, the stock data for the first symbol stock we can actually copy and paste um, this one and just to change the or uh, we can change this to, to a l l uh, same first column first one then we got an object called aamc which contains the information of this stock. Okay, thank you for watching.